happened to sitcoms? Same thing that happened to Baby Jane. Don't understand that reference. Ask me again, then. Whatever happened to sitcoms, man? They're around. Did you not see the State of the Union, man? That was a weird one. I mean, they've changed so much. I'm researching an article on sitcom archetypes, right? All the old ones seem to be going extinct. Please, please tell me that this is a discussion about the TV show Dinosaur. Not the topic! Dinosaurs is not the topic. It's a good example, though. Time was, sitcoms were just about a fat, blue-collar dad being disappointed in his kids, threatening to beat his inexplicably hot wife, and tackling important social issues with the coons are coming. Dated racism. Yeah, just throw in an arbitrarily specific workplace and a wacky neighbor and you have your column. What is wrong? See, that's not the thing anymore, though. Yeah, Family Guy does the whole fat dad, hot wife thing, but that kind of archetype isn't supposed to resonate with audiences nowadays. All the old archetypes are used ironically or updated for our generation. Oh, you mean like how all the shows that used to be about 50-something dads are now about underemployed but charming, well-intentioned 20-something slackers? Well, dads. Dads is about dads. Dads was canceled. It gets more specific than that, though. Now it seems like every sitcom has to have a character that everyone shits on for no reason. Oh, like Toby from The Office, or Meg Griffith, for that matter. Right, or Jerry Gergich on Parks and Rec, or Scully and Hitchcock on Brooklyn Nine-Nine, who are just Larry split into two people. Oh, what about all of the people that have no discernible difference in their emotions, like April Ludgate from PNR, or Ron Swanson, or... Jack Donaghy from 30 Rock. Brooklyn Nine-Nine has a couple. Diaz is always angry. Lieutenant Halt is stoic or whatever. Tina from Bob's Burgers. Abed from Community. But what does it mean? Maybe that the writers coming of age now are more in touch with the character who has stunted emotional capacity and difficulty with interpersonal skills. Ooh, ooh, yeah, like we all grew up with iPhones, so now we hate other people, and that's just seeped into our sitcom characters. Why not? The Terry Gergiches of the sitcom world are pseudo-living proof of our society's growing misanthropy. Okay, don't say it like that in the article, but go on. It's like, we've always thought it's very funny when a person falls over, right? <laughs> it's good. But now it's even funnier if that person totally didn't deserve it. How's that for stunted emotional capacity? How is that? I don't know. Is there like a scale or something for that? Eight? It would certainly explain the glut of characters whose main trait is just being the f***ing worst. Or like, the most unrealistically selfish person in the world. They're everywhere. Gina Linetti, Jean-Ralphie and Mona Lisa Saperstein, Cheryl Tunt, Archer, Jenna Maroney, Tracy Jordan, Roger from American Dad. Oh, you forgot Chang from Community and everybody in It's Always Sunny except yeah. for Charlie and Cricket and anybody in Arrested Development except for George Michael and Buster. So you like the article idea? Nah. It's too depressing. You don't like that crap. What if I add a bit about the relentlessly cheerful characters? Like your your Andy's Dwyer, your your Traeger's Chris, your Kenneth's Troy, Charlie Day and Cricket. Yeah, but those characters are out of touch with reality. All it does is just prove that we are emotionally stunted, that we can't love anything unironically. We lack empathy, and yet we are unrealistically cheerful. Because TV is good. The pop culture references are funny and plentiful, the beer is microbrewed, and the cheese is nacho. Sorry. If you want my honest feedback, I think it still needs work. It's not article ready. I like my points, though. Maybe in after hours? No, not even. You need, like, three more solid arguments. You can maybe make it today's topic about it. Ew. Okay, just shoot it in front of a green screen, then. Add clips. I will just not do it. I will scrap the idea. Cool. Wait, if you're not doing this as a today's topic, then how are you... How am I? How is this? Roll sound. Roll cameras. And action. Horrifying. You are nightmares personified, and that is not a phrase I bandy about recklessly. Literally the first time I've ever heard it. We're not here to tell you how to be scarier. We don't have experience in that, and anyways, it's none of our business. Could you even imagine if we tried to get into scary? We would just embarrass ourselves. What we do know? branding. You need to start thinking, really thinking about your brand.